We got our new pole barn working. Got the bees moved back. This is just a small pole barn to do our sail builders under. I got sick of dealing with sail builders and breeder queens in the rain, so we built us a little roof for it all. And we put our little white trailer back under the roof, so that's all nice. This is down my driveway at home, kind of a storage yard of sorts. Okay. So people are asking about you, Seth. People <laughs> well, want to know what Seth's up to. Uh, so Seth's busy moving bees and breaking trucks and hauling bees here and yeah, there. Yeah, you broke the crap out of your truck, Oh, didn't yeah. You? She's, uh, she went in the shop for about two or three weeks. Yeah. About two or three weeks ago. So. It'll be a two or $3,000 bill. Probably. Oh, it'll be. It, it's crippling. <laughs> For a guy like me. Okay, but. so these two cell builders right here are Seth's. Yes, so, sir. so tell me what you're up to right now. You're uh, obviously splitting, or you wouldn't be making all these queen cells. How many colonies you got right now? I got about 109, 105, 109, somewhere. Okay, in there. and you're trying to double? Yeah, cut them in half. Cut them uh, in half. Well, cut numbers in half and make about 210, 215. 210, 215. And then maybe keep about 50, 75 through the winter and sell. Okay. so many this fall um, so say that again you're gonna have 50 to 75 left over after you're done selling yeah that's the plan we'll see how it goes i might sell a little more might sell a little less so basically you're going to be selling singles like single stores yep medium size maybe a little on the weak side yeah six to you know seven frames of bees something yeah. like that of course i'll have a brand new queen brand new queen brand new equipment for the most part, except yeah. for maybe the box or the yeah, bottom board or something. Boxes will be older, but the frames, you got all new frames. Oh, it's it? all new. It's yeah. all new, new. What Any of want? the old frames went out in them nukes this spring. So. That's right. When you, yeah, That's right. You sold 44, 40, 51. 51 nukes yeah. this spring, and you still ended up with over 100 colonies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you have any idea what you're going to ask for your singles yet? I'm thinking about two, two. maybe 210 if I can get some decent boxes, but... Uh, uh, yeah, it always depends on the equipment. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If it's real ratty equipment, I might let them go for 185 or something. Yeah, you know. yeah. That or if somebody wants a bunch of them, you know, yeah, give them yeah. a deal on them. Seth's got to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And you're making a little honey, too. Oh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I had a good a little, little spring pole. So. so those are your two cell builders. Yes, sir. And uh, I got one of mine here. And where's the other one? Over there? Uh, over okay, yeah. Right here and right here. Okay. So the reason we're interested in these is that Selena and Ami, two brand new grafters, and we want to see how they did. And also we did something a little different this time. We grafted 60 cells into each one instead of 45. I don't see why not. We've uh, done 64 in the past and had pretty good luck, so I don't know why 60 won't work. All right, let's, let's dig in and see what we got. Is, the, is this the colony your cells are in, Selena? I'm pretty sure that one. Okay. No danger of chilling the cells today. It's warm. So we got two two frames in there with uh, two bars on each frame so that's a total of 60 graphs mm -hmm. and that's 100 percent no wait what, what, what is this good yeah that's 100 percent that looks good okay today's wednesday and these cells are scheduled to be put into nukes on friday so we're getting them just a couple days early um like to get them out of there before any mischief occurs Sometimes they'll tear them down at the last moment for one reason or another. So, I built a little bird comb on you there, Seth. Yes, sir. It looks like it'll be easy to take out, though. Yeah, we got one. That's because we have a nectar flow going on. That's the problem, man. I see two. Two, two failed not, cells? Yeah, two failed. Okay, mm -hmm. that's not too bad. So you got 58 out of 60. That's so jet. Right oh, is this Omni bar? Is that Omni's bar? Really? Line on it? Oh, okay. Turn, really? Are you kidding me? Turn that around. No, oh, yeah, he did here. Hold that some. Hold that up. That's stellar. Oh, here, I'm gonna let you do a little brushing. Okay. So that's Ami's bar. That bottom. Okay, Ami came to visit us from Atlanta last week. Yeah. 
and he is 15 years old, extremely interested in beekeeping. He's already got some bees and wants to get a lot more. And him and his mom came up here and hung out for three days. And that's his first attempt at grafting right there. Out of 15, he only had one dud. That's about as good as it gets for, for <laughs> a new graft. That's and then, is good. that your bar on top, Selena? No, it's not. Okay, so yeah. Jesse had another 100%. Yeah, Jesse's really good at this. Oh, yeah, Jesse's good. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's, let's, uh, let's get Selena's bars out. I gotta be real honest, I let these guys do the grafting. I can do it, but uh, two reasons. I feel like I'm better off doing something else in the field than grafting. And plus, uh, these guys see so much better than I do now. I do, surely do a better job. I haven't done it in a long time. I probably wouldn't do too good. Yeah, they're drawn foundation, so they got a little bit of something coming in. My guess is the sumac could be starting here. This is a little farther south than the sumac we saw the other day. Jesse's too. Selena, is that your top one yours? Nope, mine's the bottom. Okay, so what are you missing? Three or two? One, two, three. Like three. Yeah, okay. That's not bad for a se second attempt. I'm not kidding. I mean, this takes, you don't, Ami's take, that's just, that doesn't happen usually with the first the time. The stars aligned while he was in the grafting shack. That's how good that. You know, and the other thing is he's 15 years old. He probably can see really, really oh, yeah. good. So good. I'll have to make sure to tell him to watch this video. So John's taking the cells off the grafting bars and putting in these cell protectors that are loaded into these blocks, these cell carriers that we put in the incubator. Honestly, the incubator is really not needed today. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, we don't even have to heat the stove or... Yeah. Nothing on it. It's John, perfect. you look soaking wet. I am so. I mean, I am completely soaked. I mean, I am <laughs> completely soaked. What we need to do now is take those excluders out of these cell builders and uh, put, make them normal and give them a super. And they'll be used for not next cycle, but the cycle after next time. Looks like those right over there. Those look pretty good. We'll use these next time. We're not doing that many cells right now. Um, sometimes we'll have four or five cell builders going right now. We're just doing two or three. We don't need more than 80 or 100 cells a week at this time. So uh, we'll pick on those two next week right there.